So I want to talk about using noise reduction for an audio piece. Now this audio here is an interview recorded straight out from a camera. And you can guess it right, it's very, very noisy in nature because it's recorded straight out from a camera microphone, not using a shotgun mic or something of that sort. And it's very, very noisy. So my task here is to actually reduce the noise, the background noise of this audio file, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Uh, I'm going to play it for you. Here we go. Yeah, correct. Um, yes, there is one name because I, um, you know, we, um, we are... So a client sent this to me and wanted this to be restored. So uh, this is a very, very badly recorded audio recorded straight out again from the camera's microphone. So what I can do here is can use some noise denoising using isotopes denoiser. And I'm going to show you how to do it here. So I'm going to go to effects. All right, I'm going to go to effects, go down to VST, effects, isotope. I'm in love with isotope products. Yeah, and I'm on RX2, but I believe now it's already RX3 or 4, I'm not sure. But anyway, this works for me, so it's fine. Anyway, to use this, basically, let's go back to default here. Okay, so I'm going to explain a few things here that I always use. I'm going to show you the process of how I actually reduce noise in a file like this. Or rather, try to reduce noise in a file like this, right? So the first thing to do is to capture a noise that you do not want out from the, the environmental noise of the audio file. Something like that, okay? So I'm going to click on Learn right here. And I'm going to play that again. Can you choose the button here? Two, three, start. Alright, and that actually learns up the environment noise. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select a part of it, say around here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to preview to actually, you know, uh, listen to the audio noise to see how much has to be been reduced. Alright, um, yes, there is one name because I, um, you know, we, um, we are... So this, this dials here, um, this one here and this and that. Now we're going to go through all that. So the first one here is noise reduction level. So this tells you how much you actually reduce the levels. You can see in the graph here, uh, in equalizing it, you can see how much we're actually reducing. Okay, so I'll probably reduce about eight. Now when you hear, hear the reduce preview of the file, you can hear there's a lot of what we call the artifacts of the redu reduction. Those crisply tingling kind of sound that you get after actually denoising things like that. I'm going to show you again. Your, your yeah, yeah. So you can hear that the the audio file actually goes funny and that's what we call artifacts. So to actually reduce artifacts, what you can use is this smoothing here. So you increase the smoothing to reduce the artifacts. Alright? Um, yes, there is one yeah. because I, um, you know, we, um, we are trying Okay, so you got to play around with that and uh, actually do some smoothing here. But what I will do for something as severe as this is to change the algorithm here to the best and slowest. Of course, in different computers, you might not be able to preview this in real time. Um, if you cannot preview this in real time, you need to process it and then see whether it's okay or not, all right? But I'm going to try to preview this in real time. And here we go. So smoothing down, I'm keep my smoothing off a bit. And I'm going to play somewhere here to preview it. And I will change the noise reduction and add up the smoothing as we go, all right? Yeah, correct. Um, yes, there is one name because I, um, you know, we, from, we are Chinese, we are from a very traditional family. Uh, they always believe that when a child is born, right, you, must, you mustn't have your... Alright, sounds much better already. And now, because this is recorded in a cafe again, and there's a lot of background noise which always changes from time to time, you need to click on this Adapt to Changing Noise Profiles to actually you know, allow Isotope Denoiser to actually learn the noises that actually occurs behind and you know cancel them out every now and then. So the higher the learning time, the less artifacts you get in your audio. And the, low, the slower the learning time, the more artifacts you get. All right, so let's try this. I'm gonna play it and uh, preview it again. You mustn't have your own name or my own name so that we can call you by name. So uh, my one was come for come for me like so you can hear that uh, it's much better now with some uh, learning time that we have actually adapted to changing noise profiles in this audio file. So try, you know, you have to go through these things and go through some trial and error to get the best results possible for the kind of audio they have on hand. All right. Now I'll talk a bit about the advanced before I go off in this video. Now basically, you can go to the advanced panel. Uh, I will always change it to the best and slowest because that gives you the best result all the time. And what happens here is you can change the tonal or broadband. Now a bit about tonal and broadband is tonal uh, sounds like um, 
the piano. There's a tone to it, right? And broadband are things like a, a robot, in a, for instance. So if if this is a video, uh, if this is an audio about talking and uh, and talking only, without actually you know vocals and all that, we can actually you know decrease the tonal and increase the broadband. All right. By default, it's linked together, but basically, you can always you know unlink them and you know remove more of the tonal, reduce less of the broadband. You can play with this, and in simple, this does both of that as one go. All right, that's a difference in here. And you can also you know, play around with the artifact control, which is the smoothing, the global smoothing, and also play with some fine smoothing here. So that's the advanced panel here. All right, simple panel works good for me. I always change the algorithm to the, the slowest one because it works the best. And um, I hope this video helps. Thanks.